Hey everyone, I've decided to start my own channel where I pretty much talk about films and maybe some other things as well down the line, so hopefully you enjoy them and I'm going to talk about a couple of new films in this vid, so stick around. Before I get started, I did used to review films around 12 years ago or so, but they weren't great. I always felt like I had to make them funny, so I wrote out terrible skits and did awful, awful impressions. These new vids is just me and my honest thoughts, so no bad jokes. Okay, maybe a few here and there. Okay, first film up is The Holdovers. Paul Giamatti re-teams with Sideways director Alexander Payne for this comedy drama set in an all-boys boarding school. Paul's character has to stay behind and look after a few of the boys that got left behind at Christmas. So yeah, this is a really good film to watch around the holiday season. I knew I was going to like this film. I had a great feeling watching the trailer and I was proof of that. The script was very witty and smart. The chemistry between the characters were great. Each of them had a rocky relationship with each other, and as they got to know each other, a lot of feelings came out. The acting was amazing. Paul Giamatti and Divine Joy Randolph both won a Golden Globe for their performances. Divine's character is the one you connect with the most, who stays to cook for the boys despite going through a horrible tragedy. She is also a great voice of reason in the film. It hits on all levels and it has a great character development in this film. My only criticism is, is that the film could have been around maybe 15-20 minutes shorter. It's a well paced film but some conversations could have been shortened down in places but overall I did really enjoy the film. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Clever dialogue and great direction make this feel good comedy drama worth a visit to the cinema. Okay, next up is The Beekeeper. My expectations wasn't due at all for this film, but it, it really kicked ass. I had a lot of fun watching this revenge flick, and I'm hoping there could be some sort of franchise made within the world that it's been created. It's a Sky original film, but got a cinema release, which I'm pleased about. It's a lot better to see this kind of film on the big screen, as opposed to just at home. The premise, is very much John Wick, it's very similar. You've got a dangerous man who just wants to live a quiet life, but someone he cares for gets taken away from him, so he plots his revenge. It's very similar, but not to the point where I'd say it was a rip-off. It's a film, say you're watching on Netflix, and Netflix is like, if you like this, you'll like this as well. That's kind of what it is. Jason Statham is a brilliant force in The Beekeeper. He's intense, unpredictable, and very fast. This might be my favourite David Ayer film. He's had a rocky career with good films like Fury and End of Watch and bad films like Suicide Squad and Bright. This film really surprised me. It's exciting, well paced and has some great action sequences. The only problem I had with this film, it was a bit silly. I know it's called The Beekeeper, but there was too much of you've disturbed the beekeeper. What do you mean beekeeper? He keeps bees. What? He tends to the hive. What? It happened quite a few times for my liking. That was literally my only gripe. It was like the characters couldn't get over that he was a beekeeper who actually kept bees. This action it was a lot of fun though. South African actor Taylor James was the highlight of the cast. He was unintentionally hilarious. Definitely one of my favourite Jason Statham films. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 also. Let me know if you've seen these films or there's any other films you've seen recently you want me to talk about. Like and subscribe. Take care.